Hi all. In this video, let us discuss about administration and ERP integration in Odo 15. So, as we all know, structure of a Odo backend is very simple. First thing that start is menus. The menus which contain sub-menus which have a large number of records. And also the menus are mapped to actions. Actions are of different type like window actions, client actions, server actions, etc. And then the window actions are mapped to views. Views have a broad category. They are of different types like graph, calendar, pivot, form, tree, etc. So that is about the basic structure of a order backend. So first let's check about a menu. So let's go to PyCharm. So in the PyCharm, in the I am using a tier the travel management module. So in this module, in the travel.xml XML file, I will show the menu that I am created. So menu can be created inside a menu, menu item tag. So under the tag, first let's define a ID and then the name, but whatever, whatever what that we need for our menu. And if our menu is as like as a sub menu of a parent menu, we can add the parent of that menu. And then if the menu is mapped to any actions, we can define that action at here. And then this action record can also be created. So let's check one of the action record. It is defined under a record tag where we can define the ID that we def already defined for the menu item. And then the model under which model is that action is belong like IR actions dot active window if it is a window action or if it is a client we can define the client action or server action and then the name for our action and then under which model this action is belong or for which model this act action can be defined so that model can be defined at here and then uh, about the view which all type of views that can be needed for this action can be added here currently i am added tree comma form and then next tag is uh, about the field uh, help that means it help the user to identify about this action that can be simply added under a p tag that's all about the action record then moving to the view at here i am defined two views like tree and form so let's check about that views so at here i am defined the form view it is defined under a record tag we can add a id for our view and then the model is ir.ui.view and then uh, set a name for our view and then the model under which model is that view is belong and if it is a form we can define the field inside a form tag or if it is a tree, we can define it is inside a tree tag. Or whether it is a graph, we can define inside the graph tag or pivot as like as so on. That's all about the a basic menu action and view in a Odo's backend. Then let's move to the next thing. Next thing about relational fields. That means we have already know in a record there are different kind of fields. It contains large number of basic fields also relational fields relational fields help us to link the records and the relational fields are of different types so let's check each type of relational fields inside this record the first one is about the mini to one mini to one is help us to map the current model with two other co-model so at here the name it is a uh, mini to one field currently it is tra belonging to the model travel dot travel and at here i am related it with the core model rest dot part so let's check its code in the pycharm so inside the travel dot py python file i am defined the field for customer fields dot mini to one and its core model rest dot partner which choose the customers from the model restored partner which the travel dot travel model is mapped to or uh, related with the restored partner model that's all about the mini to one fields and then the next type of fields is another thing is mini to many which is the bidirectional bi relationship which creates the bidirectional relationship of records 
So at here uh, it is mapped with HR dot employee. Uh, and in the many to many fields here uh, the field booking officer which we can choose the number of officers for the booking so it is a many to many thereby we can choose the bidirectional uh, records so in the pie charm it is defined as fields dot many to many and then the co model at which uh, we where we need to create that relationship and then in the XML we have to uh, define this field with a widget of mini to mini tags which shows a mini to mini tag where we can choose multiple employees at here and then the third model of uh, relational fields is one to many which is as like as inverse of mini to one it relates one model to many records so i will show with then one example so let's go to the inventory module so under the inventory while we creating a transfer, we can see a one to many field at here. Here it is a field uh, that is move IDs. Move IDs without package. It is a one to many and which relates uh, the object uh, stock move. Relates the object stock picking with the stock move. And here we can choose the products for this particular stock picking. So that is one type of relational fields. Then the next thing that we have to discuss in the uh, order administration and ERP integration is about the discussion and notifications. That is about Odo's email system. And Odo help us to uh, the add notifications and discussion threads to our users. That means email and messaging system in Odo. So let's open a record. So in this record, we can see that uh, here we can send a message for a particular other user. For example, for the mark demo, we can send a message like that uh, from each record. Also, we can add the log note from here and also schedule activity. These all are the uh, messaging and email system that are available in Nodo. So let's check how we can add those. So in the pie charm, in the travel.py.python file where I defined the travel.travel model. Under here, we can inherit the mail.thread which helps to uh, the notifications and messaging system and also mail.activity.mixin it helps us to schedule activity based on each record. And then uh, let's check how we can add that chatter system on each record. So inside the record view rec uh, record of form, after the form tag, inside the form tag, we can add the chatter div class. Under the chatter div class, we can add the send message follower IDs and then the log note IDs and also activity IDs. This help us to uh, send messages and dis add discussion threads and schedule activities in Nodo. And that's all about the basic things that we can in the administration of Odo about the backend. And then let's move on think about the website. We have already know Odo provides many business models for better business option and website is one of them. And then uh, let's directly go to website. So in the website, in the shop page, that is, uh, which is belonging to the under model website sale, that is which helps, it is a e-commerce store to sell our products through online. And it is one of them uh, which helps for the growth of our business options. So also we can create such like menu in the website also. That means in the front end also. And uh, we can create our web page as uh, colorful and elegant. Uh, from here uh, in the under the shop we can choose the products and then we can add, add to cart and then proceed the remaining things. So at here, I am added a travel uh, menu in the website and then just a web page with heading of travel management and travel records. And uh, let's check how we can create a menu and then the corresponding page in website. So let's go to PyCharm. So in the PyCharm under the views website menu.xml, here I created the travel menu for my travel management. Uh, that means uh, it is created under a record tag 
and create, give way id test menu and then the model it is belonging to the website dot menu and then a name for our menu and then the url that means here i uh, given that slash travel and in the ui it is belonging to the url as such like and then let's give the parent id under which parent is that uh, menu as need to appear and i give it as website dot main menu and then the sequence uh, and using this record tag we can create easily create menus in our website and then uh, about this and then that particular travel menu can be seen at here then about this web page at here i just created it as travel management and travel records in our shop page we can see that it loaded uh, the products uh, that we are need to sell it in online so such like things can be uh, added in our menu so let's check how we can render a particular web page for our menu for that initially we need the controllers controllers help us to interpret uh, the data to the browser and send data back so in the controllers in the main.py python file i just added the uh, added the controller and then the url that is travel url of my menu and then i render, uh, rendered uh, the travel management or travel website travel website is the template that i created for that particular menu uh, travel likewise we can add the controller and then the return whatever the thing that we need to uh, show it in our uh, menu so let's check about this template too so in the travel website.xml here i declared the template and uh, inside a template tag added the id and then just the name for this template and then i call out the website layout and inside that uh, layout we can define whatever the things that we needed for our particular menu so likewise we can create simple menu in our website and then the web page and the things that we needed to show it in the uh, front end so that's all are about the administration and erp integration in odo 50